Hi, this is Demon Tomato Dave, and unless you came here from there, you might be looking for my latest song, Mario Land with Lyrics. You should absolutely hear it, it's mega. Click here to hear my new song, which also happens to be Brentel Floss's new song. This video is less important than that video, and it's about that video, so go there and watch it first. If you've already seen, stroke, heard it, now I'm going to tell you about how I made it, starting from now. Welcome, and into the centre of my Super Mario adventure. I'm Dave, and a lot of you will be here to see me today because of the video I just did recently with Brentel Floss called When Brentel Floss did words the on Mario Land. Um, what you might not realise is that everything you can hear in that song, uh, apart from like Brent's voice and sound effects if you're watching the video, uh, was my voice. Everything you could hear was my voice. The music was performed a cappella and arranged by me and I composed the little bits in between the verses as well. So I thought you might like to know how I did it. Now, the idea began when Brentlefloss had the initial idea, uh, here's Brentlefloss, and, uh, and he said to himself, Hey! I know what I'm going to do! Because uh, I live in New York. Uh, hey! 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 I'm going to make a Mario Land song with lyrics! And, uh, and oh! Oh! I know! Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a, it'll start with a kind of a, like a, an ethereal choir kind of a sound. Hey! So Brent had this idea to make a Mario Land song, and he wanted to do a kind of an ethereal choir, dreamlike, uh, slowed down intro to it. And he must have thought to himself, hey, how can I... And he must have thought to himself, hey, I reckon I know how to do uh, just that thing that I just thought of, because I'm from Texas originally. Y'all. Uh, I reckon I know how to do that. I'll do that to Bella. In fact, I know. I'll go to Demon Tomato Dave, y'all, and I'll get him to do it. And I think that he probably heard me doing things like this. which are a bit sort of ethereal choiry, I guess, and, and so he asked me to, to do it. And so I said, well, all right then. And he gave me, armed only with this idea and a couple of lines that he gave me, I delivered unto him this demo. Now, you may think, wait a minute, Dave, I thought you were going to tell us how to do this, and now you're playing us a demo in which you've already done it, and you skipped the stage where you tell us how to do it. No, I'm going to tell you in a minute when we get to the part where I actually made the song. But anyway, I sent him this demo. Clean, black and green, hold it in your hand, this Mario Land. In 1989, this came down the pipeline. <laughs> Now you might have noticed that uh, in that demo it's, it's a different chord sequence than the one we ended up using. Um, that's because I, I recorded that completely from memory. I didn't look up the music or anything like that because it's, you know, I remember it. We all remember it. I remember it more than most because I've still got the vinyl of this. This charted in the UK. It's got the number eight. started the uh, lyrics writing process. And what we did there was, um, he basically first of all said, well, I'll tell you what, just to get the feel of what you'd like to do, you write some words, and then I'll see what you come up with. And in fact, it turned out to be, yeah, we absolutely had to do that. Because what I wrote turned out to be nothing like what he was expecting. Picture the scene. It's a weekend and you're not getting the team. Plug in a switch on and blow. Mushroom kingdom, it's a goal. Victory's in sight. 
But there's a dreadful sense that something's not quite right. Hey kids, get in the car. It's time to visit Grandma. Cue sulks and yelling. Poor Grandma catches the fallout. And so Nintendo stepped in and sorted it all out. Finally you can. But take him in the car to visit your nan In bed or on the go We're still playing Mario As you can see, my version was very uh, rose-tinted and very nostalgic and, uh, and it was, you know, largely in favour of Mario Land Very in favour of it In fact, it ends up sounding like, a, like an advert at the end And he was like, oh! I hadn't expected that. I hadn't expected that. I was there. Uh, now I'm not from anywhere now. Um, that was not what I expected because I thought that Mario Land was a little bit not very good game. And uh, so suddenly, the premise was born. We had a back and forth argument about the about the game. So then we we started writing. Generally speaking, this isn't true across the board, but generally speaking, I wrote my lines and he wrote his lines. Uh, but we both contributed to each other's a little bit with, a, you know, uh, an alternate line or word here and there. And, um, and then it was time for the recording process to begin. So, let us begin. Here's how to do it. Right, here we are in front of the computer then. Uh, I'm using Reaper here on a PC. If you've got a Mac, you can use GarageBand. For our purposes, they do precisely the same thing. Now, down here, I've got a little um, beats per minute counter, which you can tap with your mouse and uh, tell it what rhythm you want. And that'll give you a little metronome like this. Like this. Okay. So, I can now use that to, you know, to keep, keep the time, basically. So, I've created a track up here, and I'm just going to record. Now, the, uh, the first track that you record always sounds boring. Resist the temptation to just sing what you want. You've got to have a game plan, and you've got to have uh, an idea in your head as to how you're going to build up the eventual uh, chords that you're going to use. Here's how I'm going to do it. Okay, pretty simple, pretty boring, but we're going to build it up into something a bit more interesting. So we create another track, like that, and we record track two, which is going to be um, another sort of point in the chord. So we create a new track and we record the third line, remembering that each line is supposed to be different because we're building up a chord here. You have to resist the temptation to just sing what will be fun or what you want to sing because it'll work against the song as a whole. You'll get what you want as long as you go at it the, uh, the careful way. And we're going to make a fourth track, and this time it's going to be quite a high one. Now, as you can see, uh, those the, the higher notes come less naturally to me, and I have to sometimes record a couple of times to make sure I get it right. Okay, so, but anyway, we've built up this. Not bad, we can use that. So, now we need a bass line. And you can get away with something very simple for Mario Land. You can get away with something like Bum 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 like that. But I don't believe in that. I think a bass line is a very important part of any tune. Probably as important, maybe more important than the melody. Because the bass line is the I don't know, it kind of carries what you feel about the melody, if that makes sense. I there there are some songs where it's a daft throwaway song, but if they've 
paid enough attention and put enough effort into the bass line, it can actually make it really catchy because of that. And that's what I'm going to do here. So instead of bum bum bum, this is what I decided to go with. As you can tell, this is a very, very rough cut of the song now. Turn off the uh, click track. And of course there are various conditions that I, I wouldn't use when I was doing the real song, such as I wouldn't have the speakers on, I'd be listening to it on headphones, because otherwise, you know, it, it, it ends up recording back on every track. And I've just done each take once, whereas actually, you know, I'll do them t again and again until they sound good. Now here's the actual file. This is, this really is the Mario Land song that I made. And, uh, and I've got uh, soloed, so that you'll hear them alone, the four tracks that I've just demonstrated how to make plus the bass line. So this is what it really sounds like. And as you may have been able to hear there, the bass line is actually slowed down, um, just because I found it more effective that way. And all together, it sounds like this. So that's how I made the music for Mario Land with lyrics for Vandal Floss. If you like the song, I've done several others and it's basically my shtick. So subscribe and I shall do some more for you. My most popular songs, if you're interested, are The Theme from the Dark World. A lot of people like that. Uh, Not Roy. A lot of people still like that. It's very old now. Um, the Big Christmas Medley is probably my best one. People who already follow me will remember that I teased a Banjo-Kazooie song a while ago. That's absolutely going ahead. That'll come out pretty soon. And I've got another one in the works as well, and uh, lots of different things. Bye!